Hello Showplace Games, welcome Ratbags to ARK Update 738, it's here, look behind me, that is the Redwood Forest Biome, it's that complete island, I am on Optimissi's um, volcano base, it's huge, we're going to do a world tour of this eventually, but you know what, it's about to crash out, so you may see me in a second, and we're going to be on ground level with the Redwood Forest, we're going to take a quick look at it in depth, um, a little bit at some platforms and we may just start building a few bits and bobs just to show you guys what you can do um, just for a very quick short video so see you in two secs of a shake's tail here we are guys we are down below we are in the redwood biome i am on optimissi's world she's kindly let me have a little muck around she's been building platforms all pretty much um, most of the day practicing building techniques she has said it's very tricky to get around everything here um, it is very very hard to place these correctly and get everything sort of nice and so yeah it just it does look amazing i mean she's already look how great she's already building stuff um, so hopefully, I presume she's going to connect these all up. She's just sort of experimenting with a lot of it at the moment, um, but it does look real cool. So what we're going to do is look at all the things you're going to need to go along with your platforms. You're going to need some rope ladders, and hopefully I think there's going to be some rope bridges coming. I don't think rope bridges are in it today. I don't know. We'll double check in a minute. Let's go and take a look at the engrams. We'll land up here. So as ever, because there is sort of another two levels, you will gain another two levels to level up. So I think the max now is what, level 98? So if we go all the way down, in fact, there's the rope ladder. So that is definitely one of them. That's what you're going to need there. You can also use it on normal ladders. So maybe if you've got uh, just a regular wooden ladder or metal ladder, you can place these there too. So we're going to make some of them. So we've got the rope ladders. Now you are going to need some sort of foundation to put these on. You cannot just place them on the platforms themselves. You can see here everything is red. You do need a sort of platform or pillar. So we've got a pillar here. I'm just going to literally whack it on there. And you can see they just kind of clip to the bottom. Now you can use rope ladders on normal ladders as well. So say you wanted to mix it up a little bit. I mean I don't know why you would want to. Um, but you can literally just place these on top of normal stone, metal, well not stone, uh, metal or wood ladders. You are going to need lots of these. I spawned in 50 there and I've already used about um, 15 just to get to the bottom here. So we're going up the ladders now. It looks really cool. I, I like it a lot. I think it's really, it's going to be really good. Something that isn't in it, I did mention it, um, but we're not actually getting the um, extendable rope ladder bridges yet. That will be coming in the next update. So I've got some platforms. We're going to put these down as well, just show you guys what they actually look like. Now you can pretty much do it on ground level. That will be like the lowest one you can find. And then you can put it up higher. And I think that's about it really. There's, there's only so high you can go. You can't really go above the canopies. This one's pretty good because it's just literally connected onto that rope ladder. So we didn't have to actually do anything or muck about with it too much. And we can simply just climb up on top of it. And there you go, just do a little bit of a hop. You obviously might need to build a little platform coming out. You can see here Missy's really going to town already. We're going to be doing some tutorials with Missy showing how to build. She's going to be doing the actual building and talking me through some tips. And so far it looks great what she's already built. So right guys, I'm going to put a platform down and we're going to put the blister on it and we're going to aim it for one of these big bad boys down there at the bottom. Okay, right, we're going to place literally the, uh, the turret here the ballista and we're going to jump on it and then with a bit of luck we should just be able to aim well, I don't know. so you can't just simply transfer it when you get on it you need to load it up just like the cannon and the cannonballs so access the inventory and then pop your chain boulders inside then you can get on and look at that it's a bad boy beast so hopefully we're going to I think we can pull it and aim we'll see if this goes that far it might not Oh, 
Ah, oh, it was probably a bit too a bit too far. Let's see if we can get one more. There's a couple big dinos down here. Oh, I've got one. I've caught one. We've caught a steggy, I think. I think we've caught a stegosaurus. Let's get down here. Oh no, it's, tri it's Triceratops. Yeah, we caught it. Look at that. Look at that. Now, oh, it did break free. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess you've got to be quick. They're not necessarily the strongest of things. It's not going to keep it there for a long time. If anyone's been using the bowlers, they seem to be like the best way to capture animals now is to just lob a bowler at it and then trank it. So you're still going to need to be quick, especially with the big dinos. Um, I was, wasn't expecting that at all. I expected the bowlers to be a little bit stronger than that. Maybe it's just Triceratops. Maybe he's just a bit of an OP beast. Um, but I somehow doubt it. So I think you may have to fire quite a few of them. Um, but as long as it takes them down, I think the main idea of the bowler is to bring the dinosaur down. So if you put it on a animal that can have a platform on it, hopefully you can run around the map and take down flying animals, particularly quetzes. That's the one I showed in the trailer, and I think that's the main one that is really going to be beneficial using the chain bowler for. Guys, that is it. That is the platforms, that's the chain bowler and the rope ladders. I've shown you how to get them, or basically what they do, where to place them, etc. And some actual footage of the Redwood Forest on Xbox, not PC. I've got much more coming in the pipeline. We're going to be doing a Hunter's episode where we take on the Titanosaur and we're going to try and tame it. And we're also going to be looking at some Let's Build tips and guides with Missy. So, I'm Jay Plays Games. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!